<coughs> Good evening, Councillor Bather. <coughs> Highways England, Historic England, Natural England, Public Health England, Kent County Council, Canterbury City Council, many local groups, and 1,100 individual Senate residents have registered concerns regarding River Oak Strategic Partnerships Development Control Order application. <laughs> Could you detail how the, the Council has engaged with the applicant to reduce a statement of common ground and a local impact report? What issues have been discussed and whether these have been included in a Section 106 agreement? Mr Green, and I work on the Nurse Lowell, previous councillor. I now call upon the leader to respond. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you for your question, Mr Green. Um, the council is engaging with the applicant on the planning matters raised in our pre-application letter and relevant representation, both of which have been published on the council's website and on the planning inspectorate's website. These have discussed how the council and the applicant can work to resolve as many of the issues raised in these documents as possible to inform the council's local impact report and any statement of common ground produced. There's a decision for the planning inspector <coughs> as the examining authority whether a section 106 agreement would be required in addition to a development consent order if the project is granted. Thank you, Councillor Bayford. And once again, thank you, Count, uh, Mr Green.